nice and shiny first car wash of the year I don't know what it is but there's something about this soap cannon and all the soap suds that it produces so satisfying totally recommend getting one of these guys just pretty handy yep all right guys welcome back to the vlog this week I did have plans I'm gonna change up the tint I was gonna go a little lighter um, I don't know man it's like just all of a sudden I just had an urge or an itch to like change it up to like a lighter shade uh, one part of me just want to show off the interior or is it just just getting old you know back in the days when you're young limo everything full windshield eyebrow black 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 it all out but I don't know times have changed maybe going a little more classy now eh? I don't know what do you guys think should I uh, change it out to a 35% or do you think I should leave it out like this 20% or sorry 15% looks pretty sexy but I don't know you kind of want to show off that beautiful interior too uh, comment below let me know you guys so um, so this week I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, so we had a little bit of an issue underneath the engine uh, as in last week's vlog I started it up everything was fine it kind of ran a little rich I felt um, still waiting for the feedback from Adam on the uh, data log and uh, Josh and I were fooling around underneath the hood there and realized the blow valves are uh, open at idle and uh, that's not a good thing you guys uh, blow valves are not supposed to be open at idle if you have the right spring rate uh, matched up with your uh, vacuum at idle they should remain closed. There's no reason for them to be open. The only time it's open is when it's, uh, I guess, when you let off gas uh, and uh, it'll relieve all the pressure, right? And there's no buildup on your uh, turbos. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna address that problem and I'm gonna start it up just to show you guys um, what I'm talking about. I don't know, this is the reason why I kinda wanna go to a lighter shade. I kind of want to show off the, like all this goodness, you know, the bride seats, the mine steering wheel. Hmm, just I don't know. It's uh, really uh, I kind of I think I'm gonna do it, to you guys. It's kind of a shame to like I don't know cover it all up and not show it off and uh, let other people enjoy the, uh, the interior, right? So, but anyways, let me uh, start this up, you guys, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the issue with the uh, blow off valves. guys so I got the uh, blow off valve out of the vehicle now and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the screws and it's a number four and I'm gonna do that right now all right there you go guys so it's gonna come out we're gonna replace this one with uh, the yellow one here so while I have it apart I'm just gonna check the diaphragm here so there is no kinks or anything on it looks good and uh, looks like there's no issues so we're gonna go ahead and change the out for this one, for the yellow one. So there's number two, and all you do is just put the spring back in and put the cap back on. That's it. All right, you guys, so it's all back in. The new uh, spring rates are a lot higher, and uh, that should solve the problem. So uh, let's start her up, and uh, let's see how it is. So if you've noticed, the idle has dropped down, and the uh, the blow valve is not open anymore. No more fluttering. You see the, if you can hear it, well, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but the RPM is starting to drop even more. And uh, nice and solid, you guys. All right, guys, so, 
smooth sailing. Uh, so it's all ready to go. It's going to head down this week uh, for some uh, E85 tuning. So just to clarify, you guys, I am running on speed density, so it doesn't run. Um, so e even if it's like it has air going in there, it doesn't affect it as much. Uh, but if you're running on a MAF sensor, it does because your MAF sensor is reading and you're letting in a lot of air. So you're going to get a lot of misreads and you're going to either run rich because uh, a lot more air going in or run lean. I'm uh, not 100% sure you guys, but it's going to run like crap. Um, so if you have open bluff valves and running on MAF sensor, you're screwed. So uh, speed density, not as bad but uh, just don't let them run open like that, you guys. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And uh, if you have some issues like that and you see that open, change the spring rate and uh, that will solve the problem, you guys. Um, but other than that, uh, hope you guys enjoy the vlogs. Uh, I'm looking forward to next week, uh, big dino day. And uh, we'll see you guys there with us, right? And don't forget, smash the subscribe button, you guys, turn on the notification and uh, don't miss any of the vlogs and we'll see you guys out in the streets see ya